Well before George Westinghouse pioneered the natural gas industry and electrified the world with alternating current, he was a railroad man. The inventor of the air brake founded more than one company that brought innovation to the transportation industry. And one of those companies was Union Switch and Signal. Today, the switch has an Italian accent and a new name, Ansaldo STS USA. But it's still based right here in our region, and it's celebrating its 130th anniversary. Dr. Alan Caligari is president and CEO of Ansaldo STS. Welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you. Good to be here. Yeah, well, and congratulations. Here. Just celebrated the 130th anniversary just a few weeks ago. Correct. Uh, May 5th, 1881 is when George Westinghouse signed his document founding our company. Wow. And we're very proud. Well, yeah, we, a lot of us today, <coughs> I'm sure, think of Westinghouse more along the lines of Thomas Edison and, and electricity, but the innovation he brought to transportation was every bit as important. Uh, 130 years ago, he founded the philosophy of safety in rail and transportation and it remains you know today the cornerstone of our company as we you know progress into innovation and new you know technology but the cornerstone remain vital you know safety of our product installed in mass transit and in rail you know transportation born in pittsburgh manufactured here engineered here delivered from our facility to our customers. And when you talk about safety, what, what does that mean? What is the, what is the part that Ansaldo is really focused on? It's a on? very critical aspect of the business is to ensure that any type of system that we install in our uh, application has a faulty safety in a condition. So in a case of failure, there is a mode that, that it, 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 it continues to you know, progress the the uh, the you know maintenance of the safety condition of the system mm -hmm. so there is redundancy of application in now in this case algorithm that are constantly uh, you know, changing and overriding the faulty condition in a safety, you know, mode. So there's a lot more computerization Absolutely. to the way it works today Absolutely. than the old days Absolutely. of railroad switches Absolutely. and signals? The, the industry moved uh, in the late, you know, 70s from a very electro, you know, mechanical industry into an electronic industry today. Uh, with the exception of the old system that we still have installed, some of which installed by George Westinghouse, uh, still functioning, you know, today, uh, our, uh, you know, computerized, you know, you know, system are, be, you know, basically representative of 90, you know, percent of our, you know, business. So very high tech industry also in a signaling system. And I would think too when you begin to bring the digital technologies in it gives you a better sense of where all the trains and tr tracks are all the time. And You're correct. If you envision a control in a system you know today of an average in you know, a railroad or mass transit it's very similar to an air traffic controller room where the operator has a complete overview of all the trains movement uh, in their you know, territory the you know proximity so that they can see what is the average uh, usage of tracks mm -hmm. uh, as you well know it's very difficult to park a train uh, because you have to have a special you know sideline on tracks so they have to really have movements of train under control in order to ensure the safety of this you know movement of multiple train on one track and beyond safety too the more information you have the more you're able to manage all of this i would imagine it improves the efficiency of absolutely. the whole network as absolutely. well absolutely the the uh, as you move you know you know particularly i would say in the railroad industry where you know the freight is uh, and you have this long uh, you know train acceleration and you know deceleration of trains which are done by not having a good you know control is very costly on the fuel, is very heavy impact on the environment. So with the system and the ability to manage and oversee uh, multiple movement of trains, they can maintain you know, speed, which is fuel uh, efficiency. They can maintain rapidity of you know, velocity uh, you know, you know, changes so that they can you know, better you know, create a plan of arrival of these trains at the various destinations. Wow, uh, it was interesting when I was out to visit a, a few weeks ago and met some of your folks. It sounds like the people who work for Ansaldo mm -hmm. very much keep this idea that they're in the safety business. That se really seems to be top of mind, part of the culture. Uh, it is, it is a culture. It is the culture that our founder uh, put in place. Uh, he was, um, uh, and it's you know, fascinating to read some of the uh, writing that he put in place as he was the, you know, developing the vision of you know, the company. The word you know, safety, even you know, back then, which obviously was pretty much rudimentary at the time, 
but it was really the cornerstone of his vision. Hmm. Uh, we cannot do anything that is not you know, safe for the passengers or for the goods that we move on the train. And certainly, he even uh, put a, 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 a caveat in a couple of his writing where he says, and safety of the location where our train are going through. Wow. So there again, a very you know, visionary in individual that understood you know, safety in its totality. Uh, only a few seconds left, but I'm wondering, you know, you're here by an accident of history. George Westinghouse, Westinghouse <laughs> happened to start the company here. Does it make as much sense for Ansaldo to be doing this kind of work in Pittsburgh today as it oh, did back then? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, it, it is uh, to us, you know, the, uh, the, the, the city of Pittsburgh and the region offers a unique opportunity of growth. The talent that is, you know, present in the region, in in the city, the availability and the interaction that we can have with the various institution and organization is a unique you know, positioning for a company like us in technology to really have a basket of exchange and interaction uh, that is second, you know, to none. So we will continue to remain and grow in the area. All right, Dr. Alan Caligari from Monsaldo STS USA, the old switch. Thanks old so switch. much. Thank Happy you very birthday. much. Yeah. Thank you again. <laughs> Next up, got a deal to be done? The Idea Factory may have a new source of capital all the way from China. Stay with us.